Jared C. Tilton, Getty Images Bubba Wallace said he hadn't gotten much sleep in recent days, an understandable deficit for the sport's lone African-American driver who's had plenty on his mind as the country experiences a movement to right racial injustice and NASCAR makes steps to evolve alongside it. Related, race results, Cup Series standings Wallace drove with purpose Wednesday night, carrying more than mere on-track hopes with a hashtag Black Lives Matter paint scheme on his Richard Petty Motorsports No. 43 at Martinsville Speedway. It netted him an 11th place finish, falling just shy of a top 10 result after a late race mixing of fenders with seven-time champ and Martinsville master Jimmy Johnson. Man, our car was so good, Wallace told Fox Sports after the Blue Emu Maximum Pain Relief 500. Our Black Lives Matter Chevrolet, that's good to say right there, was so good on the long run. Dot dot dot. But all in all, great job to come here and execute, no practice. My favorite place, and it just continues to show. I'll tell you what was badass, racing with seven time there at the end, Jimmy Johnson. You think, Jimmy Johnson wins so many times here and we're running him down. That's hats off to my guys, so good job, fellas. Wallace finished among the top 10 at each stage break, his team battling through a mechanical issue that required extra pumps of the jack during pit stops. His affinity for the .526 mile track helped to offset that, aiding his cause at the sight of two wins for him in the Gander RV and Outdoors Truck Series. Though he slipped toward the end of the lead lap cars during the final stage, he rallied down the stretch to vie for his third top 10 of the season. But Wednesday's result carried much more meaning than his outcome on the scoring sheet. For the second straight race, he wore a t-shirt with messages of I can't breathe and Black Lives Matter in the wake of protests surrounding the death of George Floyd on May 25 in Minnesota. His statement, lifted by support from his fellow drivers and the sanctioning body, helped Wallace lead the call for the Confederate flag to be banned from NASCAR tracks and grounds in a Monday night interview with CNN. Related, NASCAR statement on Confederate flag less than 48 hours later and just hours before Wednesday's start at Martinsville, NASCAR issued a condemnation of the flag and its prohibition from those settings. Wallace drove home what the event meant to him in a pre-race message to his crew. Like that message I sent you guys, biggest night of my life right here, Wallace said over the no. 43 radio. I'll give it my all. Dot dot dot. Everybody watching, new faces watching. Appreciate y'all's support. Support this week's been pretty unreal, so definitely didn't go unnoticed. New faces seem to take notice, too, 